Charles. This is the big show. You have reached the right station on the right channel, on the right place. I am Ugly Money Nietzsche. This is the Ugly Money Podcast. Special edition. Go ahead, get them likes up. Go ahead, comment your which comment in the chat where you calling from, where you watching from. Roll call. Let me know where you're calling from. You have reached the big show at the right time, ladies and gentlemen. Drop them cities, drop them likes, drop them cities, drop them likes, drop them cities, and drop them likes. Yeah, I got some flavor for y'all today. Drop them cities, drop them likes right now. You've reached the big show. I am Ugly Money Nietzsche. We need to get them likes up right now. Hit that like button. We are not going to hit your Navy Federal Credit Union. We ain't going to hit your Zelle. We ain't going to hit your Cash App. It's free of charge for you to like the video. Tap that screen, ladies and gentlemen. We about to get toxic tonight. Pasagula, Mississippi in the building. Decatur, Georgia in the building. New Orleans in the building. Okay, who else in the Daytona Beach in the building? You going to talk? You going to read? Do you read? You read, don't you? I read when I feel like When you feel like, okay, she don't feel like reading. (laughs) Ah, Tallahassee's in the building. Drop them cities, hit that like button. Drop them cities, hit that like button. We're doing a roll call. We're doing a roll call. Drop them cities, hit that like button. This is the big show. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. I am Ugly Money Nietzsche. For a lot of that on the check-in. Washington, D.C., Cleveland. Who's in here? Baton Rouge, baby. We are Louisiana. What's happening? Milwaukee's in the building. He said Baton Rouge, the hottest city in the world. Tap that like button. Let's go up. New Jersey. New York City. What up, son? Word the mother be is bananas right now. Brrr, bow. We outside, son. It's crazy right now, baby. That's my New York dude voice. Detroit, Michigan is in the building. Yeah, we here, man. We are here, we are here, we are here, and I got some. I got some fine-ish today. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let them decide to be fine. Oh, you put your glasses on. Oh, you I wouldn't can... say fine. I would say gorgeous. Gorgeous. Ooh. Magnificent. Magnificent. Ladies and gentlemen. From Memphis by way of Nashville and everything in between. Shikana. Oh, introduce yourself, baby. Tell them what it is. What it What's is. What's up, you guys? I am Shikana Diamond. You can follow me, Shikana Diamond underscore 22. Uh, stylist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She got style. <laughs> she got style. What's up? What's up? Okay, Shikana Diamond is here. I am here. Shots out, Bama, off, off camera. Anybody that wants to perform free at the Ugly Money Music Summit, you go ahead at the bottom of the screen. You will see that I have put down what you can text. Pound sign free to 1-844-253-4707 for those that want to perform free this weekend at the Ugly Money Music Summit. Remember, all Super Chats will be read and discussed. All badges will be read and discussed. All stars will be read and discussed. Like the video. Comment your city. We about to go in and get my likes up. Tony Mendez says she put them glasses on. She look like the type that play innocent and be quiet but toxic. Is that you? Real toxic, baby. You going to love it over here, baby. Yeah, it is. So y'all gonna love it over there. Uh oh. So let's start the today's show off with: Have you ever, Miss Shikana? Oh God. Y'all hit my like button. Hit my like button. We going up. This stuff, this one. Have you ever went on a date with a guy that you were not interested in and only went to get the free food? I'm gonna plead the fifth on this situation. Hey! <laughs> 
the tea and get that much of the tea. Wait a minute. That, that, that's not nothing too crazy, is it? It's a little, you know. Well, wait a minute. You ain't never had a free, a free, a free dinner. Wait a minute. We're gonna say it like this. Mm -hmm. The young man was very sweet. Very sweet. But when he opened his mouth, it was like a whole lot of Cheetos in his. Oh, oh wow. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I can say I snacked and dash real quick. Smacked and dash. <laughs> That's the new thing, snack and dash. Snack and dash. It was a snack and dash. <laughs> Sounds like a fast food restaurant. It really was in my soul. It was. So, 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 uh, you, 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 so you didn't see, you didn't see, did you know that he was a no-go before you went on the date or during the date? It was basically before the date, I can't lie. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So you knew before the day that he didn't meet his, your standards. Yeah, I couldn't hurt his feelings, you know. You couldn't hurt his feelings by making him save his money. Um, wait a minute now. If I would have said no, I have been cursed out before, okay? Me and her crazy out here. So 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 if you would you, you felt that you couldn't say no to using this man's money <laughs> for food. I knew him beforehand. Okay. He just kept trying, you know? Okay, and not once did you think that you I might I said no a thousand times until finally I was like, look, yes, so I can hurt your feelings and dash and be like, look, I got something going on. I just can't do it. I ain't triggered. I ain't triggered. Because he should have caught the hint after the third no. Woman got one time to tell me she's not interested. I'm never coming back. Never time. I remember, you know, <laughs> I don't get those kind of uh, replies anymore. But back in the day... <laughs> I remember this girl, I, I, I was, you know, I had a crush on her. Her name was Ebony. She was cute. She was thick as, thick as, thick as duck butter. I'm talking about, she had five midgets on her back. She was thick as hell. And, and I remember, you know, I used to, I used to try to court her. Until one day she told me, she said, you know, you know, you're cool and I really, really enjoy you. But, you know, I don't see it going much past that. I said, oh, bye, bitch. You'll never hear from me again unless you're sending me some money. I mean, we could do some business, but at no point in time am I going to be lending my wallet to somebody that's not interested in lending me and, uh, you know, lending me some cash. And that was the end of that conversation. I never once reached back out to her, and she was cool. We were cool for years. Never once reached back out to her and said, hey, baby, let's link. No. I will save my money. But you know, it just take one time sometimes. But you say, go ahead. Quick question. Mm -hmm. So you said she, you and her was just cool. So what about now? Was she I ain't talked to her. She ain't contacted you after all these years? After I mean, she, you she, 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 yeah, she, I mean, she looked at my stuff, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. I, I, my my, my, D, be my DMs be kind know. of, my DMs be so lit, I can't read them all. So I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. she done said something, but I mean, she, she off my goddamn radar. Toxic. I'm unaccessible now. Huh. I'm different. I've changed. <laughs> I don't have time anymore. People always want to say I'm different. Oh, he's changed. The money's changed. Yes, it has. I am not the same. I, we, we did not, I did not work this hard to stay the same. I don't have time anymore. I'm unaccessible. Please contact my assistant. Yeah, she got to she gotta check the number. Mm. <laughs> she used to have direct access to me, you know what I'm saying? Once you fumble that, hey. And I, I didn't have a problem with her, you know, not seeing that or whatever. But, you know, it was just like, okay, I, I appreciated the fact that she told me that she won't interest so I can stop wasting my time, energy, and money. And then when she told me that, I guess she thought that I was going to be like, oh, baby, no, no baby, bye. <laughs> There's plenty of fish in this. She is plentiful. I pay bills. There's always a woman that need a place to stay. Forever. <laughs> if you can pay bills, listen, gentlemen. If you are financially stable enough to take care of a household and you are masculine enough to protect it, there is always the options for you. There's tons of chicks. They're not going nowhere. If you can, if you are financially stable enough to take care of a house and masculine enough to defend it, you're going to get you some cash. Don't let these girls fool you like, oh, you'll never find somebody as good as me. Bullshit, man! I will find another you in less than the time that it takes for you to do your hair. I 
Smooth literally snapped my fingers, and here go a new bit. G Smooth 199 Super Chat. He says, I need that shirt you got on ASAP. Go to the link in my bio on Instagram, man, if you need some merch, man. Shouts out to merch. Get you an ugly shirt. Yeah, I gonna find a better one, a cuter one, a quieter one, with less bodies, with less baggage. Because our value as men is consistently going up. The more money you make, the more knowledge you have, the more life experiences, the more game, the more attractive you are to a female. Now, Shekinah, you might have met me three years ago. Mm -hmm. I'm way more cuter now than I was then, huh? <laughs> Especially with that Bentley outside. <laughs> I would, my friend, I, would cute, I would cute I with the Jeep. The I would cute with the Jeep, but I'm dead sexy with the bit. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, it's just uh, women a lot of, uh, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Kano, I think that women have a different degree of assessing one's uh, attractiveness than men do. We're just looking at the physical. We look at the out like, oh, she slim, oh, she thick, oh, she fat, oh, she skinny, oh, she pretty, oh, she ugly. It is what it is. That's pretty much our attraction base. Now, you guys' attraction is is way more interactive and intuitive and it's deeper. Talk to me about a woman's perspective of, of, of what's attractive. What's attractive first and foremost to me is not just every woman uh -huh. has the same perspective. Perceptive or whatever. Hit that like button, gentlemen. So we would possibly say, I would first look at, you can be in the hood okay. or have hood tendencies, mm -hmm. but do remember that it is a time and place for everything. Right. So if I can take you into the hood and you can communicate with Bloods, Crips, GDs, Vice Lords, but yet walk into this corporate world mm -hmm. and know how to com have their communication as well, then that's first first and foremost for me is to turn on because that means I can take you anywhere. <laughs> Baby, I can take you around my mama, my sister, my daddy, hell the preacher. Mm. So that's one. A hard working man, yes. I don't care what your hustle is. Work hard with it. Hell, I shouldn't have to say, baby, can you take the trash out? <laughs> we hate taking the trash out. I we would take it, the trash out. We don't know, no. You ain't supposed to take it out. Work, make we don't like taking the trash out, but we're going to take it out. My mother only had girls before she had my brother. So, okay, so I would look at it at that. And then I just did, I look at it as. How do you treat me? How do you treat your mother? Mm. Even if you didn't have a mother, how do you treat your aunties? How do you treat fuck your sister? Like, come on now. Like, it goes bigger than that. So I look at those small details. Are you willing to change? Hey. Little things. Okay, okay. I'm not triggered yet, y'all. She ain't got us triggered yet. Have you ever heard? We're trying to get triggered. We ain't got triggered yet. She, she, she over here with politically correct answers. Don't come on this show with no sense. Don't can't. come on this show I'm talking no years. sense. Oh, now to understand that now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh now grow. you do. I had to grow. Now, yeah. I'm not going to say that I was always like this. Yeah, for sure. Now, if he drove just a cute car, uh, I might would have said, what's up, boo? Uh. He had a little bankroller, too. I might say, what's up, baby? Mm. Mm. You was in the two-bedroom house, getting to it, huffing and puffing. I know, but it, 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 it wasn't probably two <laughs> there, bro. <laughs> After two days. <laughs> After two days, you're not here, no. And we ain't gonna talk about this if young you lady know, like you that. Know. We ain't gonna talk about her like that. You should've, you should've passed it to the bros. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I was I was preparing for that. Nah, if we did the right details we, we, and follow. We, See, a woman needs to understand that a man leads, in which also is women out there that's leaders too. Okay. So if a woman is not an alpha woman, oh. you need to understand that you might need to be led. Okay, okay. Yeah. So alpha women don't need to be led. Oh yeah, we need to be led too. <laughs> She goes, saying the right answer. But I'm going to say this, too. But yet, we don't like to be told what to do. Oh. I ain't going to lie, because I'm an alpha woman. Mm, an alpha woman. Very alpha. Mm, what is an alpha woman? An alpha woman is one that's going to take care of all of her business, no matter what the situation is. I just rolled in to take care of some business and still have to go back to go to work. So regardless, I'm on the move. I will not make a stop until I see me make it to my destination. Oh, okay, okay. So what is the alpha woman? What is the alpha woman? Does the alpha woman stay an alpha woman when an alpha man comes into the picture? No, she's an alpha woman to the women, yes. Okay. But in the male form, no, we don't have the power to, f to fight back with you guys, no. 
Uh. We don't have the power to lift a car up. It's, it's some men out here that can do some things that we can't just do. Uh-huh. But, yeah, it is some things that y'all can't do that we can do. True it is. You know, we I can think, teach I think, some things as well. I think you watch too many of my clips and you. And you no, I have not. You know, I've been married before. Yeah, uh, she, she I have been married there. before. So you can't, hey, bro, I'm going to try to get her, bro. You can't knock me. I can't look. I can't get fake trigger, dog. If she ain't saying nothing triggering to us, then, you know, I can't get fake trigger. What up? What up? Hey, appreciate all the badges, all the gifts, all gifts. All super chat, all badges will be read and discussed. So if there's something you want to talk about, say with a super chat, we'll get to it. Shouts out to France on the check-in. We go, we worldwide. They coming from France. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate the gifts, man. Appreciate the gifts on TikTok, man. Salute, salute. We trying to keep it TikTok friendly today. We're gonna try to at least. I might mm -hmm. get triggered and get banned again. It is what it is. But um, so what okay, let's talk about marriage. Cause let's this that's what one thing about this show that we try to in, encourage. How did you how did you know it was time to leave your marriage? When it got to the abuse. Mm. When it got to the down talk, when it got to physical, mentally, and emotionally just being drained of not knowing if this person is going to stop cheating on me, is this person going to stop down talking me, is this person going to stop telling everybody that, hey, she ain't shit, she ain't got this, she ain't got that, and I'm the one upgrading you. Mm, 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 mm. So you left Dennis them. Radliff. Oh, she, put, she dropped a name. <laughs> My bad, Dennis. <laughs> but you know, you reap what you sow. <laughs> Pay back some motherfuckers. So, 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 okay. So, words. Mm -hmm. You're not talking about physical. You're talking about verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. That's enough to leave a marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, yes. Because um, if you can verbally disrespect me and let your mother verbally disrespect me, let your children verbally see you disrespect me, my son is standing there and you disrespecting me. Well, that's the key thing. My son had to die when he was two, so that was the key thing. No. Mm -hmm. So what if I just tell you the truth and you take it as disrespect? Like, for instance, Shekinah, mm -hmm. this house looks crazy. It looks like a pigsty. You don't clean very good. Can you get your ass up and clean the damn house? I'm going to clean the damn house. That, I, might, I might cut you out back and forth. I might say, damn, you didn't have to. But would you consider that disrespect because I told you to get up off your ass and clean the house? If I ain't doing shit, no, nah, I wouldn't think that's disrespect because, hell, if I ain't, if I ain't did nothing and you paid the bills, I, I couldn't get mad. But then again, if I if you see that I'm busy and I've been up with the kids, I, all right, I'll get up and do it. But hold the fuck up. I'm going to cut you out. I'm going to, we're going we're gonna to argue a little bit. I'm you not going to lie like I little, won't hold my tongue. You, you, you were going to argue a little bit? A little bit. Just a little bit? Just a little bit, because I might bring up something that you didn't do. But then you're going to turn up and go do it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I just want to... <coughs> I, I might want to make up sex. That's probably what it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. She ducking and dodging right here. It ain't ducking and dodging. It's Pretty, pretty... Gabe says, I think tone... I think tone and message is always a factor. So maybe the... Th was it the things that he was saying were disrespectful, or maybe his tone was disrespectful? It was the tone and the things. Mm. You can you can say, "Oh, I can't stand you. I hate you all day." But when you talk about my child, oh, it's, it jumps to a whole nother level. Or you oh. talk about me as a mother, it jumps to a whole nother level because I was a mother and I know I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. So things like "I hate you" are a reason to break up. No, I didn't say that was the reason. I said just, he can say that. Hold up, Nancy. You gonna I'm just trying to figure out what on. it is. Wait a minute, Nancy. Thank you for the. Thank you for the. Thank you for the. <sighs> Toxic I'm trying to figure out what it is no. that this man said that made you want to go down to the courthouse and file a divorce. Like, what is so bad about what comes out of a man's mouth that would make you want to say, oh, we tearing down this family. It's over with. Well, first and foremost, um, I'm gonna get it out. you're calling me a cheater. You're calling me bitches. You're calling me hoes. Okay. Um, literally, I can be in the presence of how I'm sitting with you and this young man. I get hit in the face or I get talked down or I get drugged or your mother is right there talking Isn't stuff like or watching you beat me mm -hmm. or watching you call me out my name. Oh, physical is you out of there. Yeah. Like, so it was, it, was, it was all together. Oh, okay, okay. It yeah, was yeah, not just yeah, one. It was like... Man. All right, we move forward. I lost points. You ain't do nothing wrong now. We move forward. I'm going to try to strip up today, gentlemen. 
Yeah, you can't put your hands on it. You can't beat the bitch. You can't beat her now. Unless she hits you in the head with a pot, then you have the right to defend yourself if you feel that your life is threatened, gentlemen. Why, well, yeah, well, a lot of women do that now. A lot of times women do initiate physical. I can't physical. say what I do, but I wouldn't beat you with no pot. <laughs> a lot of times women do initiate or start fights, though. A lot of times that I've been in situations... Yes, we do. It'd be a woman that, 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 that'll, that'll get in her feelings and then yeah, try to put do. her hands on you. Yeah, because I'll be playing with that emotion. Do you think a man is wrong for the... If, 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 you, if a man is, quote, unquote, playing with your emotions and you haul off and physically attack him, is he wrong for knocking you the fuck out? No, but I wouldn't say punch me, but I would say grab me. Grab me you can grab me like this. Oh, so there's I'm a saying, certain... Jack me up a little bit to let me know. I'm like, all right, look, I, I might say something. Like so there's a certain degree... There's a certain degree of, of physical force that he can use to protect himself from you being an attacker. Yes. The same way with as a woman, I should not pick up any major. How about you keep your hands to your goddamn self? How about if I'm talking to you and you talking to me, we keep our hands to ourselves? How about Lil John said, don't start no ish, won't be no ish? How about that? How about you don't start fights that you can't finish? How about that? You keep your little goddamn sticky finger hands off of me and it won't be nothing. How about that? Because if I have to defend myself, it may not go the way you want it to go. How about y'all keep your hands to yourself and express yourself without being violent and you may not get that, that energy reciprocated? Sometimes you will come across the wrong type of guy. He don't have that gear to just be the bigger man. <laughs> he gonna beat the bigger man. <laughs> Keep your hands and feet to yourselves, ladies. Y'all get a little in y'all feelings. Y'all little chest get a little hot. Just a little hot. I don't be thinking dudes really be. Oh, they do. I, I, I got stories. They put their hands on a woman first? Yes, you want me to give you the story? Go ahead, let me hear. Okay, recently. Oh, I got a galaxy. Hold on. I don't know what that means, but thank you. I, I, I'm on TikTok right now. There's a galaxy. Thank y'all. All, all, all the prizes, what do you call them? The gifts. I'm new to TikTok. All the gifts and badges and everything is appreciated. Thank y'all. TikTok be showing love. I don't know what these dudes on Instagram be doing. They just be sitting there talking. They don't ever show me nothing. YouTube be sending me some super chats. They be, they be staying in the paint. But TikTok, y'all be lit. I appreciate y'all TikTok. Cause my people on Instagram, they stingy as hell. Thank you, bro. I'm here, bro. I'm here on TikTok. Appreciate it. I got a gummy bear. Look at that. Ooh, I got some batteries. Uh, boy, that TikTok stuff lit. Instagram, send me something. Dang it. YouTube, send me a super check. TikTok is watching y'all right now. Keep hitting that like button. Everybody hit the like button one time right now. Let's go up. We're going to set a record today. Across all platforms, we got over 1,000 people watching this show right now. This Shekinah Diamond is here. Hit the like button. Let's go up. I need to see the right side of the screen going crazy. I need to see a whole bunch of hearts and emojis right here. Let's go. I got a crown. I don't know what a crown is, but thank you. best show on earth if you're a real one. All right, now tell me this story about, um, I got another galaxy. Hey, Stan, go look and see how, what, what a galaxy is. Right, that's look, look, look like it's something good. I got a whole bunch of roses. Ooh, talk to me. Nice, baby. Talk to me. Nice. Okay, yeah, woo, woo, woo. Some pepper, some roses. Hey, Pookie. All right, my bad, my bad, my bad. TikTok cut. No, look at nigga send me donuts. What? I like this TikTok thing. It's all right. Why? Why they crap? Why they gonna send me a donut? Boy, I love them glaze. Quick trip donut. Look at that. Why they got me? Oh, y'all cutting up over there. Y'all okay. cutting up. They TikTok cutting up, but. All right, tell me this story. Tell me this story about. Cause I don't be thinking that they throwing a party on TikTok. TikTok Dang, is too late. They on you. Look, um, 
tell me this story about this when this man supposedly put his hands on you first. They done sent me a cowboy hat. Oh, yeah, this, this is lit. Go ahead, tell me. So, this young man got a little upset because I went to a concert because I know some people. Like, we're not going to go into details. But, yeah, he was like, when I got home, I'm, I'm going to ride off your clout. I was like, what you mean, my clout? Went from that till I get an emergency call from home, father go through surgery. I stopped talking to him because, hey, rent come around. Where your hair fit? Where your part? Ooh, your part. Mama, mama got it, but I just want to know if you were your part. You said you're going to have this. Right. So I stopped talking to you for a day or two after telling you the reason why I'm not going to talk to you. And to turn around, you get mad, and um, I'm not talking. Start poking at me. I do not like to be poked. I do not. they poking my sides. That's childish. You don't like to be poked. My re I had, well, from my marriage, I uh -huh. had bruised ribs. So, from that situation. On this side or this side? This side. So, don't touch this side. No. This, touch this side. Yeah, I, I don't mind that side. side. But if you're poking at it and you know you skinny don't as poke. hell and you and you like not even 100 pounds. Uh-huh. And yo, so it feel like a knife is stabbing me. Uh-huh. And I'm like, bro, stop. You triggering me. I want to trigger you. Mm. What the hell is wrong with that, you? That, that, that he wanted to poke the bell. If you want to poke the bear and, and, you know, bring out this demon and this beast in me that uh, can come out. Okay. Um, I sat there. I said, now, look, now. Just leave me alone, bro. I get a swing across the head. All because you see I get a text message, and I'm listening to my music, and I'm annoying you. You get a text message from another man? No. Oh, okay. It's one of my you, classmates. You sure? I, was in, I was in cosmetology school at the time. Oh, a cosmetology classmate that's a man? No, that's a girl. We only had girls. Okay. From Caucasian, Puerto Rican to Latinas okay. to black, you know, everything. You okay. Know, my, my flavors. So you got a text message and he haul off and, and knock you upside the head? Yeah, you know. So we get into it like that, get to fighting. Um, get to fighting. Yeah, get into a fight. Okay, do you want me to be as proper? I'm just, I'm just, trying, proper. To, I'm just trying I'm to from Memphis, Tennessee, you know. Mine. If it's just that, you know. Mine, say mine, hey, mine. A whole lot of pee mine. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know, so it went from that to we we're just having a regular argument. Like, why did you even argue, fighting me? Whatever. Mm -hmm. I say one triggering thing. Oh. And he just run and hit me. Like, oh. wow, did you get in your feelings? So, yes, men can start a fight just because a woman do not want to talk to them or not giving them affection because of their fuck ups. Okay. Okay. So they'll, they'll start a fight. Yeah, y'all can start them too. Okay. I don't know if I believe that, but oh. it's your truth. It's facts. I got evidence. You got evidence. Stop well, playing with me. The dude said, the, the chat say, is, was there a police report filed? And it was. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I can't talk too much about him still in court. She ain't. She ain't. still in court about it. I can't talk too much. She said she got triggered when he when he, when he he hit her upside the head, gentlemen. I think she's right to be triggered if a man put his hands on you. It's never a time where I can condone uh, domestic violence. It's never a time where a man is supposed to put his hands on his woman unless he is protecting himself from an ongoing attacker or whatever. And a lot of times women like to... I'm going to attack a lot, lot, <laughs> Yeah, a lot of times women like to... They like to attack, and then they don't want to act like um like nothing happened. Because that hit should not hurt you guys. Those little bitty hits do not be hurting you guys sometimes. It doesn't matter if it hurts. The fact that you're supposed should, to it take it, you're a man. It should, you're a man, damn it. <laughs> it shouldn't be happening at all. You should be able to keep yourself, you should be able to keep your, your hands to yourself unless you want somebody to put their hands on you. Well, or you don't agree with that? I agree with it to a certain degree. Okay, what is a certain degree of the fact that it was a keeping sometimes your hands I'll to yourself? Need to, okay, so you're telling me uh -huh. if you didn't went out on me, and you're cheating, and I come slap your ass back up uh, from the back of the head. You damn right, I deserve to do that. Is that or me burn your car down? Which one do you want? Or oh, your PS5 thrown out the window? How about you just leave? Yeah. How about that? How about you keep your hands to yourself and stop trying to be Layla Ali before I turned into daddy? How about that? How about you stop being masculine and stop putting your hands on the man and you ain't got to worry about a man putting his hands on you? That's how a lot of these girls be ended up with lumped up heads because they want to sit there and try to hit a man in the head with a pipe. How about that? Because if he's the 
wasn't retaliating, match your energy. It's not gonna go the same way when you did it initially. So how about if you do not want nobody to put their hands on you, you don't put your hands on them. You're supposed to treat people the way you want to be treated. So you're telling him that you want him to beat the living crap out of you by hitting him and beating the living crap out of him. Don't tell him that. They're saying that, you know, we're going we're gonna to put some boundaries down then. If you don't want to be popped on, I don't want to be popped on, you better get your shit together. Well, and no woman wants to be popped on. So. No woman should be popped on. But uh, but at the same time, if you don't want to be popped on, why are you doing the popping? No, I ain't going to just pop you for no reason then. You ain't gonna pop it for no reason. It's in, like I'm a mother. Opinion. I'm a mother first and foremost. You know, so everybody need a little ass. Boy. Okay, so what is the reason that is, is, is what is it? What is it? They gave us some shades. What is the reason? What is a legitimate reason for you to put your hands on your man? Said, no, I didn't say a legitimate reason. Oh, okay, you just said you said. Well, first uh, wait, and wait, foremost, wait. ladies, I wouldn't say just put your man on your put your hands on your man. I would say you know if that's your husband. And, and you got to, like, you know, pop them up. Like, dang, what the hell? You forgot to fix the damn cabinet. Mm -hmm. I keep saying fix the cabinet. It keep falling on my foot. You right, I'm going to pop your ass upside the damn head. You can get mad all day. Uh-huh. But I'm going to pop you. You my husband. And I ask for something. But when it's time for me to bend it over, let that thing breathe for oh, you. Okay. You want me to do that, right? Hmm. So I feel like that little slap upside the head could be some makeup sex, and you fixing something you can get a little. Okay, you know. wh where are you getting this, the sex part from? From because when it's all said and done after after anybody fight or argue with their mate, they fuck. Regardless, King James Taylor said, "You put your hands on me, I'm gonna beat you and your daddy." <laughs> well, the question is, I got two of them. Can you be both? You got two daddies. I got two daddies. So, so you, 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 uh, okay, so so I, I just find it a little intriguing that it is okay for you to hit him, but you, then you want to say that it is circumstantial if he can hit you back. Wait a minute now. Wait a I, minute. I'm I didn't say it like that. I said a pop upside the head. I didn't say abuse you. I didn't say give you a I would, I, I would think of the pop upside somebody, a, a, a blow to the head is abuse. Not a blow. Not a pop upside the head like right That's now. That's what I heard. I don't know what's wrong with you. Hit me, if you I'm pop me upside Mr. my Tennessee head. Tennessee people, I'm that sorry, is, but we, that is you know, a blow, that is a a pop upside the head. the head. It may, you know, do grab your throat, jack you up. Like, what the hell is your problem? What the fuck you hitting me for? But I wouldn't say that's abuse. No, that's just, you know, a little, little tapping. <laughs> yeah. So if you, if you pop me upside the head, can I put you in a, a full Nelson? No <laughs> like, a like a chicken wing hole, like a choke they, hole. I, I have been in them plenty of times, and they're actually funny because I be I give up. I be like, you right. <laughs> <laughs> You can have it. It's not even worth it. That is so toxic. And then, she, and then gentlemen, she calls the police on you. No, no, no. She does all that, and then no. she's going to call the police on you. No, we're not. That's what most women do. They do and all we're that. Playing, and we're wrestling like, playing okay, on that. That's a joke. But when it comes to you were, you're physically blacking out on me for mm. no damn reason. Then you call the police. And I, I have to get out for my life, and I, yeah. you don't let me leave, and I'm trying to be the, the bigger yeah. person and yeah. walk away. Uh huh. What you think gonna happen? So after you hit him in the head first, and then he no, blacks see, out, no, then you call see, the police. See, no, something like that, no. Because Come on. I did start that fight. So then oh, you did I'm start the fight. I'm gonna go to jail with you. I'm not stupid. So you did start the fight. <laughs> so the fight that he blacked out, you started the fight. So you initiated the violent nature, and he was wrong. He went to jail because you called no, the police. No, I'm not gonna. Him. I'm not gonna do that. See there. Uh, well, I'm trying if to I understand. initiated something like that and it was something so small, I'm not going to call the police for something like that. But if it gets to the point where you validly didn't put your hands on me and I, it was not playful, and it's to the point where we was got Was it playful weapons. when you hit him in the head? How about you keep the same energy? You don't want nobody beating up on you. Stop beating up on me. Don't put your hands on me. I won't put my hands on you. Because after you put your hands on me, I cannot be held responsible what these hands will do. That kind of rhyme. And then you're going to get scared and scared. You call the police on me and call them white folk on me. No, that's not. That's some BS. You're going to start a fight, then call the police. What they call them in, in, the, in the hood? Takashi. You're Takashi. Okay. Don't, don't sit there and start a fight and then get Takashi. Do, right, he, do right by women's standards. Do right by women's standards is do what she wants you to do. I'm 
a grown ass adult, I will do as I please. You wanted to hit me in the back of the head from going to Tiffany's house. Maybe I wanted to go to Tiffany's house and you should just deal with it or leave. I'm getting that toxic, man. I'm starting to get it up out you now. This dude got a go find me in the chat. Gonna let, I'm the type, how about this? I would never stop a man from being a man because guess what? I know you're going to look at ass. I know you're going to do what you want to do when you want to do it because guess what? You are a man just like I am a woman. We are humans. We came in this world alone. I'm going to leave alone. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. But when it's all said and done, I'm going to ask for my respect, my boundaries. If you're not the man to give me my respect and boundaries, then, of course, you weren't going to be in the runner-up anyway. Okay. Kendrick Poe, 499 Super Chat. She's not telling us everything, and her female classmate must have asked to eat it or something. I can't <laughs> it. No, she didn't, but I probably would have ate it if she would have told me to eat it. <laughs> well, let's talk about polys. Would you ever or have you ever considered on having a poly relationship? Yes, I have been in one, actually two. Um, the first one was great until the girl started cheating on the dude that we was dating. and he was, was she cheating on you two then? I really didn't give a damn because, you know, she wasn't cheating on me with no, with no girl. It was a nigga. Oh, so the girl started, you was in the poly and, and the girl went off and got her some side wood. Mm-hmm. So how did that go down? Well, we was in a group at that time. If anybody know Memphis, Tennessee, I am Red Diamond. That's the other side name that no one knows about. Uh, Team Taboo, we had a group that was a sex group. Team Taboo. It was a... Y'all yeah, was going to the ditty party! Oh! Oh! The Memphis ditty party! Wanna go? No, did it? No, did it? They had a diddy party. It was a diddy group. Oh, y'all had a diddy group. No. Girls, girl on girl only. No male. Uh. It was girl on girl. It was a girl on girl group. Yeah, you know, if you want a little licky licky here, a little, you know, see a little girlfriend on girlfriend, you know. I'm listening. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of people in, in our um, in our hands and our clutch from major people in the city to the hood. Diddy party! Doesn't that sound like a diddy party to you? Major people in the city, a whole bunch of freaky stuff. Oh, that's girl, little girl, then diddy. The next thing they're gonna say is they was drugs involved. And it is full blown a diddy party. So, was there any cocaine involved? Oh, heck no. Molly? That's no Molly. A little bit of ecstasy. I don't know about that, but I know about that cannabis. Perk, perk, mofo. I don't know what they were doing. Then that Adderall. All right, go ahead, go ahead and continue about this Memphis Diddy party. It wasn't a Memphis Diddy party. So, um, the, the lead of the group, um, Mr. Delaney, what they do? Um, Hold on, this dude said, "Do I? Do I used to work at AJ's. I used to own AJ's." Relax. Boy, it was AJ's. It was it was escape. I used to own that. The co-owner. That's the same guy, though. I'm the same guy. Big difference. I ain't had a job since 2010 when I signed out the army. Go ahead, go. Look, they talking about what's your aunt. Ah, they try to go to the ditty party, boy. You try to go to the ditty party. Yeah, he try to go to the ditty party. That's our Anderson two five six. What they do? I love Anderson, boy. They say drop the Twitter. That's what they wanted to go ahead. Go ahead and give them the because they, they probably gonna slide now that yeah. they know that you would. Anywho, we went from, you know, that group, you know, going world star or whatever. Um, in that group, you know, we had ex-girlfriends, you know, from ex-girlfriends to people that was in relationships. I pinned the Twitter when y'all boys sent some dang money. <laughs> Buy a badge or something. Buy a super chat or something. Send a gift or something. Y'all better stop demanding stuff and y'all ain't pay. 
ass in the Twitter, bro. Yeah. She want to show your ass on goddamn buy shit? I'll tell whoever sent a gift or a badge or a super chat to Twitter. Yeah, 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 How about that? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, so she was able to do what she wanted to do at those parties. He'll tell her, he'll tell her like, hey, if y'all want to go be with a girl, do your thing, you know. But me, being who I am, I had my one female I was cool with, mm. my one dude I was cool with. I just enjoyed to be in the midst of just them turning up. Mm. But hey, you know how that goes. Get some dick somewhere else, you know. And it's good, you know. So you had a girl that you were guy, a girl and a guy that you were dealing with. Y'all started dealing with Hitman Marco bought a bag. <laughs> he want that Twitter. <laughs> he wants the Twitter bag. <laughs> no, we gotta wait till somebody on TikTok get somebody on TikTok gotta send a gift for us to give the Twitter out. <laughs> somebody on YouTube gotta send a super chat. <laughs> we got Instagram, we need TikTok and YouTube and then we'll get a Twitter out. They gonna go, boy. Gonna go. <laughs> All right, so you had you had a girl and oh no, we got a you. Ah! <laughs> the monster live 499 super chat. I think I'm in love. Nietzsche, she's fire. Are right, we just waiting on TikTok right quick? Waiting on TikTok. Once we get a TikTok something, we're gonna we gonna release the Twitter. He said, Oh, that's one of yeah, the Oh, we got a Right, what's your Twitter, your IG? IG, Shekinah underscore diamond underscore 22. You got to spell that for us. That's a whole lot of... <sighs> Shekinah, S-H-E-K-I-N-A-H underscore diamond 22. Simple. There it is. Is that your, is that your Twitter? Same thing. You can find me Twitter. Twitter. I wonder what's on that Twitter. Not so much. I'm kind of quiet. Uh, quiet. <laughs> One of them undercover free. It's mostly on the Instagram and the okay, Facebook. Okay, so back. Yeah, look, look, look. <laughs> they, done put, they, done put it, they done put it in the chat now. No it's underscore they, we only, 22. Look, Gotti says we only care about Twitter. <laughs> I, mean, I hey, wonder I, why. All right, so you're at the party. You meet a girl. You got a guy. You and the girl and the guy start hanging out together. Y'all become in a relationship. It's a poly. Mm, basically. Then the course of certain time period passes by, and she decides that she's going to step outside of the relationship and go get some side wood. Mm -hmm. And then that's when everything started crashing and burning. Yeah, on his end, not mine. So wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait a minute, hold on. We, so y'all don't y'all don't break up together, y'all? Well, I, thought... I mean, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Uh, huh? <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with me. I feel like, hey, she cheated on you. She cheated on me. She I, I still, she still loyal to me, you know. I kind of, I kind of knew she was finna leave on a down low. You kind of knew she. So why does a woman leave a poly? First and foremost, um, with that situation, he downgraded her as a woman, and not just that. When she wanted to follow her dreams, he wouldn't uh, allow it, and it was a lot with that situation. A lot of the things that y'all say about men doing to y'all is men telling y'all the truth. If you want to be a rapper, if you want to be a rapper and your best song is Cat in the Hat, I am not wrong or downgrading you by telling you that you suck and you should go get a job at Walmart. I'm being realistic to you. If you want to be a, uh, if your aspirations is to be a, a runway model, yeah. 287 pounds and your back is bigger than mine. I am not wrong for telling you that you may want to look at other career paths. A lot of y'all women be mad at men for telling y'all the truth, but I demand us tell you the truth. Well, sometimes the truth is not going to be what you want it to be, little bitch. Hello? So I'm an I'm a asshole because I told you that your little mixtape suck. They suck. You don't rap on beach, you ain't talking about name. It sucks. It sounds like a sexy red stunt double. It sucks. And I'm wrong for that. I'm not supporting your dream because I told you that it sucks. You need to suck more because your mixtape sucks. We got to start telling people that they suck. That's why so many rappers out here now because everybody, nobody tells them that they suck. Bro, you suck. Hey, sir, you suck. You can't sing. You sing off key. You're consistently flat. Every 
time you open your mouth. I'm wrong for that. Yeah, because you suck for that one. <laughs> <sighs> Women say they leave us for lying, and then they leave us for telling them the truth. You can't <laughs> win, gentlemen. Focus on yourself. If you don't have 10 bands in your savings and in your account, you need to focus on yourself. You don't need a relationship. Right. You're right. 10 bands isn't. Wait, if it's not even 10 bands, what I'm saying is... Yeah. You need to get your priorities in order. So if I know that, dang, I might be short next month on rent, why, why am I in a relationship with you? Because I got to give you all my time. Mm. That makes sense. There's nothing like struggling together. Fuck, forget that. If we if we together and we not prospering together, then somebody got to go. We can do bad by ourselves. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's move forward. Yeah. Let's talk about money since you brought it up. How much money does a man need to make for Shekinah Diamond oh, to take him serious? I and wouldn't even say it's about how much money you make. It's about the motion you have, the motivation. Oh, motion? Explain. Well, first and foremost, um, I be around a lot of people that uh, got some motion, major motion going on in the industry. Ugly money! If you have... Any type of motion on that level, okay, then it might get my attention. I wouldn't say full focus. Mm -hmm. But if I can call you and you land on your every day, all uh -huh. day, 24 7. Oh. That ain't no motion, baby. I can't. I, I, what, what is we doing? I call you, FaceTime you, you ain't doing nothing unless you can make money just, you know, FaceTiming all day. Wow. So they, they are. They 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 lack uh, intestinal fortitude to go get some onion. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's not good. If you lack that, then of course you don't got you don't have no hope with me. You can be a person. My son, father didn't have a dime, but I guarantee when time for them bills to get paid, some type of way that money got there. Oh. So um, yeah yeah man, hey, we got a new subscription go. We need twenty galaxies. Oh, here they come! Char the Star is on the star! Appreciate that. So, um, you want a man that has a hustle. You want a man yeah, that's some type of hard working. You want a man. Now, what if I have a hustle, but I'm not making a lot with my hustle right now? Then I'm going to sit here and figure out how can we promote this hustle to get more money. That's what I'm supposed to do if I'm your backbone. Hmm. Or AKA your real. So you will try to find a way to help him mm -hmm. reach his goals. Yes, because I would want you to do the same thing with me. I ain't mad at that. Hey man, anybody uh, that on TikTok that gifts me, I'm gonna make sure I follow y'all back at the end of the stream. I appreciate you, Star. Love, baby. Kushan, what's happening? Y'all hit that like button. I don't see my likes going up no more. Y'all playing with me? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. They playing with me. Everybody hit that like button right now. We're going on a like party right now. Hit that like button like crazy. Fellas, you got more than $2 in your pocket, hit the like button. Ladies, your cat don't smell like dumpster juice, hit your like button. Fellas, you got more than two inches between your legs, hit the like button. Ladies, your, 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 your cat don't smell like tiger shit, hit the like button. Hit it! It's free to like the video, so like it! Netflix charge, Netflix going up. I'm still free. Fuck with me, bro. Yeah, hit them going. I need to keep the emojis going. I ain't, I ain't feeling the love. I don't feel the emojis. If y'all ain't tapping that screen, if y'all ain't tapping that screen, I'm feeling like I ain't cooking. God damn it. I'm going to stop cooking. I'm going to put my ball in, in my car and go home. Y'all better don't play with me. My boy, my, my brother k Pound said, damn, who is that? They is on your body today. Pretty. She ain't even stood up yet. Hey, <laughs> you ain't standing up till they send a fifty dollar super chat. They ain't send no fifty dollar super chat. You ain't standing up. They gonna have to go find the Twitter again. So, so you saying that a man has to have motion? So he doesn't have to have the money. He has to be willing to go try to get the money. Yes. Okay. Gotta have potential. I work at Waffle House. Mm -hmm, I have to. Cool. Do I have a chance with a woman like you? Of course, cause you had a job. <laughs> 
a J-O-B and that mean like an E-A-T. Mm. Yeah, you work at Waffle House, I'm guaranteed f- fed. Okay? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't believe it, but okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't see. I, I used to work date a Hooters man, okay? Cooker, okay? All right. I just don't see a woman of your beauty. Mm hmm. That's okay. a humble woman. Oh, okay. You're saying all the right things. I don't know if I believe it. Our hair is the same exact color, you know that? Minus my gray hair. At least on camera, it looks like we could be twins. Oh, wow. Twins. I didn't say twins. Hey, twins. <laughs> twins. Nobody love it. I love you nobody. I don't know phone. what she say on that song. Well, tell her I need his chain. <laughs> it's on your body right now. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. So you're saying that it's not a number that a man needs to make a year to date you? No. Just had, had direct deposit, uh, directing every week or every two weeks. That would be great. So long as he's, <laughs> long as he's doing something, long as he's yes. trying. Yes. As long as you're trying. Okay. I don't know how much I believe in that, but I'm going to rock with it. Now, let's talk about these girls' trips. Mm. Because, you know, you travel a lot. You're in and out all the time. (laughs) You know, you have, you know, you're Red Diamond from the the group. You know, so a lot of times, you know, y'all might have to do events and things out of town and in the town, and you're always on the road. Do you think that a woman that's in a committed relationship should be going on girls' only trips out of town? If she has the permission from her significant other? No. Well, dang. If it's, if, what if it's money involved? No. Definitely not. Dang. Especially not what you what kind of stuff that you're doing. Oh, no. I don't be kind of doing that now. I mean, well, you use that Red was, Diamond. You talking Diamond about Red Diamond. Ago. I'm talking about Red okay. Diamond. Red Diamond says she want to go to the cabin. <laughs> They having a cabin trip. You don't put it together. Her in the group. Okay, you come to me. Get a little whooping a little later. You come, okay, you, I'm you, going. Oh, you still going? Turn up. You're going to the apartment. You are going to the nearest apartment complex with the nearest Section 8 voucher, food stamps, and WIC package. There's no way in hell I'm going to be paying bills in this house, and you think you're about to go up to the cabin and have a P. Diddy freak off. Do you know what those people do at those cabin parties and trips? Fellas, if your woman ever comes to you and tells you that she wants to go on a cabin trip, dump her immediately. All they do at the cabin, there's nothing but woods out there, Negroes. And the last time you checked, your bitch was scared of a bug. But why would a woman go in the middle of the woods with all the bugs for other than getting some outside dick and cat? Anytime a woman asks to go to the cabins, drop her immediately, she for the street. Hit my life, bud. Yeah, you can't go to the cabins. But what if you was invited? I don't want to go on your little PDD freak off. Yeah. I can tell I'm gonna take I'm gonna take I'm gonna take you to Dubai. It's fine. We gonna go. I, we, I'm gonna take you somewhere else. And we can take a good trip over there too. <laughs> but see, you. but see, your girls like to go off with other guys. Don't we? Uh uh-uh, no 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 no. I didn't say my girls do. I'm listening. That girl did. It's a difference. She was your chick. She was pound town. That's how they were. TSGK Real 99 Super Chat. Thank you, bro. So if your yo if your homegirls is for the streets, why would I want you to go out with your oh, homegirls? No, no, we no. just had a conversation. I have, I have a see now. This is the thing with me and what you guys down. don't know. Break, break it down. We have two groups of friends. Okay. We have them whole friends, and we have those mommy corporate would go do a group trip and really mean that group. They hoes too. Yeah. They the main <laughs> one. The like undercover the joints is the worst one. The ones, the corporate women, they get busted down. The nurses, they on go. The school teachers are literally porn stars. Don't get it confused. These professional women is the freakiest of the freaks. The, 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 the low rent forty dollars. At least they're honest. They can't even afford to go on crazy excursions like that. They only got forty dollars. That chick that make 80000 a year, she imports niggas from all over the country. Oh, back to the apartment. 
That's why I seen a lot of a lot of professional women be the freakiest, craziest, wild. Yeah, like they supposed to be. They're supposed to be. Yeah. Why should a lady w- in the street but a freak in the bed? Ain't that what? But she shouldn't be a freak for everybody, should she? No, not for everybody, but only for you know who she wants to be a freak for. Because it, it seems not- like for half the dental office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you, I mean, she's not married, so let her be her freak. God oh, dang. so you can do as what you can screw as many people as you want. If that's her marriage. business. She paying her. I'm business. asking you. Are you saying she's that women should be bills, able? To, gentle- are you saying that women <laughs> should be they able to, to sleep with? His- do. I'm trying to ask a question. You ain't letting me get it out. Are you saying that women should be able to sleep with whoever they want to as long as much as they want before they're married? This is what they want to do. Back to the pot, man. We will not sit here and spread this hope for me on this platform. Hope for me. Google it. I just made the word up just now. We will not spread this hopefiny in this dang platform. Uh, point blank period. Ladies, understand one thing. When you're about to lay down and spread your legs for whoever that Tom, Dick, and Harry is, think about it like this. Your husband is watching in the room. Because eventually, you're going to have to have the conversation about who you used to do, what you used to do, and how you used to do it. And you're going to have to tell your husband that you slept with a cockeyed dude for 55 and some Waffle House. You're going to have to explain to him why he should pay all your bills. So ladies, I, it would behoove you to be somewhat selective of the people that you let shoot their DNA samples within your vaginal wall. You may have to have them. You may have a man that wants to take you off the market one day and you're going to have to explain why this goddamn cock eyed nigga is following you around the grocery store. No, I don't believe that. But anyway. Because <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got to tell you nothing. Plead the fifth. That's so you're right. the... <laughs> How you going to plead the fifth? <laughs> yeah, you going to pay bills. <laughs> yeah. Plead the fifth all the way. Ain't you, your business. You, Some things I could never tell because it's not your business. You going to be paying bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I pay them now. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. You got to pay some bills. That's fine. You got to pay your I bills. I paid bills when I was in a relationship with a person. Yeah, well, well that's, your, 50, that's, 50. that's your fault. That's your fault. I'm a 50 50 You could have been over here screwing me. I would have paid everything. <laughs> but guess what you would have did? You would have cooked. You would have cleaned. You would have bucked. You would have shut up. <laughs> you wouldn't have gone to the girls' party. And your name would have never been Red Diamond. You would have never had a girl and a guy and something in the way. You would have had nothing. You would have had your ass at the house, ice cream sandwiches, making fried chicken for when I came home. Because I paid the cost to be the boss in here. You damn sure wouldn't be up and down the road. You wouldn't be going here and going there. No, you would have set your ass at the house. Got problems now. Oh, it's a problem now? Sometimes mama got to make money, too. For what? For, for her expenses, because we have expenses, too, you know. If you're dealing with a guy that's taking care of all that. I got, I, okay, but I'm still spoiled. You might say no when I want to shop on something. I'm feel like, uh. Renux, $10 Super Chat. Uh, she, she for the streets, bro. <laughs> she saw it like a used diaper. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. See, they was liking you at first. I brought the toxic side out. It's fine, bring the, I don't care if you like me or don't like me. You don't like the, so you. I'm a Scorpio. We really we was, don't care. We was agreeing until you, you wanted to go Scorpios on the cabin. Scorpios don't care, so it don't matter. You we don't was like agreeing me. until you wanted to go on the cabin trip. Good. The Give cabin trip was just, why is it so big of a deal for you to go on this girl's only trip? Because I might just want to hang with the girls. I want. I don't need you in my business when I'm talking about how you didn't piss me off, because your mama can't stay the hell up out of our business. I want to so talk. So you can't to call her on Facetime. I, uh, for you to listen, that's what y'all want to do is listen. You gotta go. You gotta went outside in the car. You went and, in the garage. And then that's gonna be a problem. Go. What you doing outside in the car? You gotta. Why you gotta talk to her? You was gonna phone with a nigga. You gotta went to the grocery store. You gotta took your ass to the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the gym. Talk, yeah, talk to one of the goddamn treadmill or something. <laughs> I like that y'all got to On the bike and shit, girl. I'm not gonna do all that. No, no. Girl, so you gotta go. Have, we, you, we, I take care of my son a lot. So no. So I you gotta go out of town to get with, away some, with, some, with some ratchet ass friends to get your. No, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's call a spade. Y'all trying to get some outside dick. Y'all trying to get some out of town wood. Get them out of town wood. Yeah. 
That's why y'all like. That's why y'all hoes like. like nothing from out of town. No, I don't know what you got. That's going why on. y'all hoes like to go to Jamaica. Y'all be the niggas, the dudes that be putting the goddamn mud on y'all. We know what y'all be doing with the Jamaicans after that boat ride. So you gotta cheat. <laughs> that ain't cheating if you rubbing some mud on. <laughs> how, how, how is it not cheating if you and your homegirls is gonna be goddamn licking and licking? Oh no, I won't be licking and licking. You ain't. You be getting licked. <laughs> You right. So you gonna go on this cabin trip if and ain't nobody. If my man telling me like it ain't nope. that, this ain't that, then it ain't that. So you go on this cabin trip, no cat will be exchanged whatsoever. No. I got a button for that. For them so to so Accusations. These are not accusations. This is false accusations. You don't believe me. <laughs> Instagram, I'm about to be right back. They cutting me off. I'm coming right back after these messages. All right, we gotta talk about. Um, so we disagree on the girls' trip. You you going <laughs> you going regardless. She going on a girls' trip, bro. Yeah. She going to the cabins. And, unless you can persuade me otherwise. I'm gonna persuade you otherwise. I'm gonna have your stuff outside <laughs> for your ass. I wouldn't be worried when about you I, come back. I didn't probably already have me a little spot and quit waiting for yeah, you. Okay. Uh huh. Uh-huh. See, that's. See, I'm already prepared. You over here playing the game to lose. You over here. Playing I'm playing the game to always win. I never be you behind. You playing the game to lose. My mother always taught me ten steps ahead, a nigga. Never be behind. You playing the game to lose. Mm-hmm. It's all good. You don't play the game to lose. You play the game to win. You supposed to. You supposed to. If you think that if we if we if we in a relationship, you supposed to feel that we're gonna be together forever, or we shouldn't be get, or we shouldn't be together at all. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you date for um with intent? Don't you have intent for the date? Yeah, when I do have intent, they don't do right. Mm-hmm. So the fact that somebody else did something wrong means that all men are the same. So you're bringing your past traumas into this new relationship. I have nothing to do with that man. Me and that man have nothing in common. We're not in the same tax bracket. We don't look the same. We don't enjoy the same things. We don't have the same IQ. Why are you Why are you confusing me with your last man? Confuse you with the last one, but if you're doing last man tendencies, you're going to get last man treatment. Kendrick Poe. 9199 Super Chat. Oh, shit. She's a Scorpio. I know she be lying. <laughs> What's your sign? Yeah, probably a Scorpio moon. <laughs> they on your Scorpio I'm all, all around Scorpio. I was going into it, baby. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. Let's move Let's move forward. All right, we disagreed on one thing. All right, the last, the last topic until somebody else sends a Super Chat and gives us a topic. Um, if a man tells you that he's not monogamous, are you going to question him about what he does with other women? No, it's none of my business. It's going to piss me off badly. Mm. No, no. I learned my lesson with that. Mm. So you're not going to question him. You're not gonna ask him where he at, who he mm-hmm. with, mm-hmm. all those things. So he, once he tells you that what he is, and you make the decision to stay, you just gonna you gonna stick it out. That's my choice. If I if I chose to stay, if I chose to put myself in that predicament, I got to deal with this situation. Okay, let's talk about b- being busy. Yeah. You're a busy woman. You have a lot of different hustles, a lot of different businesses, and things of that nature. Do you have time to respond back to a guy that you really like, or? Is it is it sometimes impossible to respond back? I'm basically saying is a lot of times guys feel that we all make time for the things that we want to make time for. So the fact that this woman is busy, if she can't respond back to you in a timely fashion or she always takes forever to see you and it takes her two and three weeks to get it together to pull up. Is this woman really, truly interested in you or is she really that busy? Nine times out of ten, if you seeing that she's on the move and she's elevating herself every step, it's not like, oh, oh, you dissed me for three weeks, two weeks, and hey, your car's still down, and you told me that's the reason why you're not talking to me, then nine, nine times out of ten, she's just not studying your ass. Oh. So is it safe to say that a man should never wait on a woman who claims that she's too busy to see him? I wouldn't say not wait. I would still say be you and still go see what's out there. Oh, focus on yourself because she's focusing on hers. Yeah, so I wouldn't say that. So basically you the can't bis- get mad if you're focusing on you and The busy stuff that the women is talking about is capped because we can all make time for the things that we want to yeah. make time. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Send it with a badge so I can... 
Yeah, gentlemen, don't wait for that BS. They're going to make time for the things they want to make time for, just like we're going to make time for the things we're going to make time for. If I want that ass, I'm going to make time to get it. Point blank, period. If she really into you, she going to make time to get it. And if she's not somebody else, it's because she's making time for somebody else. You too far down that totem pole. Yeah, I'm on. I'm LeBron James, baby. I'm first round draft pick, pick one. If I ain't going first, I don't want it at all. You ain't gonna call Melo Anthony me, baby. This is a generational talent over here, ho. <laughs> Fellas, never wait on a woman that claims she's busy. Women can make time to do everything else. They make time to get their hair done. They had time to get their nails done. You know these women actually book eyelash appointments? They literally sit in a chair for two and three hours and let another woman put eyelashes on their eyelashes. If she has time to make an eyelash appointment, she got time to eat some wood. Point blank, period. Do not fall for that. These women be capping. They be having other dudes on the goddamn car law in line waiting to be next up for the cat. You too far now. You took number 77. She only at number 22. It's going to take too long. If she cannot expedite your passport properly so you can get the hell off, brother, goddammit, it, just focus on yourself and, and, and keep it moving. Never. Legitimate. Never. Sit there and wait for a woman weeks and months at a time talking about she busy. There is nobody that's that damn busy that they can't make 30 to 45 minutes and sit their ass down and eat. Bitch, eat three times a day. So how can she ain't eat with you when you pick up the tab? So when you come across them women that ain't got time to sit and eat, eat a friend and let her call you. Cooking, baby. We ain't putting up with that mess. I go, I go without hair, and nails, lashes, and so what's up? Yeah, you know women make time to go take sexy pictures, so they can Google more niggas. Oh, you do that too, right? I gotta shoot. What's the shoot for, niggas? What this content for? <laughs> Niggas, the rap. But you ain't got time for a man. Because you too busy goddamn recruiting other nigga. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I'm pretty good at this. I'm pretty good at this, Justin. I should have my, my, I should have, I should have my license in Justin. So, 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 you're basically saying that women do make time. If a woman really liking a guy, she going to make some time for him? Yeah, she's gonna not, if it's not making just time, she's gonna at least let you know what's going on every step of the way. Keep you updated, involved, included. I like that. I like that. No, I like that. I like that. The fact that she's letting you know, she may FaceTime you from the shoot, text you, I'm at the movies. She's keeping you updated to what she's No, doing. I didn't say that. Okay. Because no, no. if she at the movies, you supposed to be right next to her. What if they, she went to the Panda movie with her, with her daughter? It was mommy and daughter time. Okay, then she supposed to record that from the, from the beginning to the end or something. But okay. that, I don't see that you can't send a text. Okay. One minute. Okay. So they with you on this one. Renux, two dollars. Does body count matter? It does. It matters. To whom? To both parties. Mm. Because a woman don't want a man that done been laid down with thousands of women. And you, a man don't, don't want that. No. So you want your man to be a virgin? I ain't say a virgin now. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, didn't, I never heard that. I didn't think that women cared about men's body count. I thought y'all yeah, actually cared. I thought y'all actually preferred us to be knowledgeable in those areas. You can be knowledgeable, but you ain't got to be Well, how am I going to be knowledgeable if I ain't... Yeah, no sometimes dick. y'all can be a little too some, open. What you mean? I threw some dick around. I know I've been a... Okay, right. you can you can throw it around a couple of times, but you ain't got to throw it around all around so the world. So two? So I'm supposed to have two two bodies at 40? No. What? I ain't gonna tell you they count. It's just you. I, I never heard a thing. woman say they didn't. They didn't. They didn't care. I, Why we have? Well, believe me, men. Listen. Men, we have conversations about y'all counts. Okay. Really. It's it's some of y'all. So women care about men's body count. Some of y'all like handicapped women and some more. Y'all just nasty. Mm. 
Mm, that's all I can say. So how much is too high for a man's body count to be? I wouldn't. I don't have a number for you, but if, if I find out that you got some numbers that didn't look like my number, it's prop. So I gotta have the same amount of bodies as you. Get. No, when I say look like me, meaning they need to be standing up. If you say, oh, I got fifty, I had fifty bodies, ten bodies, twelve bodies, let the bodies be looking like my body. If you. Oh, so he gotta be bad with you. He can screw a thousand bad chicks. That's his business. That was before my time. I can't tell you what you have done, but I will say if you got some counts that I ain't comfortable with, we're going to have a problem. What's the count you ain't comfortable with? I done slept with 500 women. Is it? Are you comfortable? Baby, um, are we <laughs> I'm sorry, but you... Figuratively speaking. I mean, that, that for me is a problem. Baby. That's a problem for you? That doesn't, that doesn't, okay, so have you ever, in your, in your lifetime, have you ever dealt with a celebrity or a rapper or someone of affluence? Yes. Okay. And during that time that you're dealing with that person of affluence, you, are, you are aware of the fact that affluent men have way more options than okay. the Waffle House Joe? Be on them. Right? So at any point in time, the fact that this affluent man has had all these people or whatever, or past previous bodies, did that ever stop you from dealing with that rich, famous dude? Exactly. <laughs> Women will move the goalposts back and forward if they like it. The guy with the motion in the money doesn't have to give her as much attention and time as you do. The fact that she knows that he's got motion, the fact that she knows that he's got money, uh, she's going to put up with a whole bunch of extra BS from him. Now, you and me, us regular guys that actually go to work for our money, that actually want to be with her, oh, she's going to have strict rules on us. But let your ass get to the point where your ass 100000 or better, you start getting that high-value money. Oh, she's going to let you get away with murder, too. Let's focus on yourselves, and them women gonna goddamn go be with whatever you want. Y'all say y'all are leaders, right? Yeah. Okay, then. I'm gonna lead you to the bedroom. So, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what my body count need to be to, to date you. You would never know that because I don't want to know you your mean? body count. I, but what you, what you just said that it matters. It matters to a degree. Like, if you if you're an open person with your bodies, then, yeah, it, that, it's a problem. If you're a quiet man with your body. Oh, so yeah. I need to, you want me to lie to you? <laughs> you want yeah. me to lie to you? Yeah. You want me to <laughs> deceive you? You're telling me to lie to you. Oh, that's you, are, you are telling me but to But I deceive wouldn't me. ask you that question because I wouldn't want you to ask me because it's none of your business. That's before your time. I was always taught, don't go digging in the past because you don't want those skeletons. Kendrick Poe, 499 Super Chat. When she likes you, you don't even have to worry about, about time. Thanks. You'll need time away from her. Shout out to all the truckers. Shout out my truckers. I, I agree with Kendrick. I agree with Kendrick totally. A woman that likes you enough will always make time. When a woman gets to the point where she starts, goddamn, that 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 next due date goes back farther and farther and farther, and it takes a, oh, I got this, and I can't make it because of that, and I got to da 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 There's somebody else that's goddamn clogging that, that order. Do you agree? Facts. Because you're going to make time for the number. Because, you know, y'all got the number one guy y'all really like. Mm -hmm. Then y'all got the guy that's okay. Then We're not you the, guys. Oh. We don't put notches in our belts. Okay, so you got the guy that you like and then everybody else. It's the guy that I like, and if he don't get right or he's not ready for what I'm ready for, then, hey, it's called options. All right. Hold on, YouTube. We got to get the cameras. We got to, Bama, let's get, hey, Stan, get Stan. We got to charge the camera back up. Hold on, YouTube. We getting the cameras together. Let's see if I can, I can, I can, I can wing something right quick. So, yeah, so basically, simply put, you're saying that, um, how do I do this? You're saying that if I, um, display camera, hold on YouTube, I'm coming. Okay. No. What in the world? Get, get Stan, bro. He probably know how to do it. Man, I don't know what in the world. YouTube, I'm trying, gentlemen, I'm trying. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Stan, come here, man. Hold on. Uh, you got the, the camera. The camera went out on YouTube. 
Yeah, I, 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 I'll switch some around. Yeah, good. So anyway, um, so my brother K Pound says, "Don't treat me like an option. I am the option." <laughs> So I'm just trying to figure out if you're understanding. Like, say for instance, I'm speaking to a girl. I right, I'm gonna talk. I've been dating a girl, or whatever. We start off really good. You know what I'm saying? We start off strong. We go out three, four times, right? You put the takes on there? No, nah, take it off until the camera gets ready. So we we we, we you you the girl I'm dating. I, I we go out three or four times. I take you out to dinner three times, and then we um. Then I say, you know what? I really like where this is going. I've really been enjoying you. I want to cook for you. And then I take you to the grocery store, and we sit there, and we pick out steaks and baked potatoes, you know, and some shrimps. And I literally go home, and I cook you a meal. Before you ever cook for me, I cook for you, just to show you that I'm into you. Now, are you going to make time for me if you like me? Or what happens when you tell if, if a woman tells you that I can see you in two to three months? If she ain't into you at all. Mm. Then why does she eat my steak? She was a gold digger, baby. <laughs> I don't know about her. Hey, a gold digger on steak? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna say it like this. Just like it's called homeless men that have sex to sleep somewhere, it's, right. it's women that will, will say hey to you just to eat. So she she used him for the free meal? Yeah. What if she had to go out of town? She live out of town. What is about that? Like you live in Memphis, I mean Nashville. Say you live in Nashville. Yeah, I was gonna say not Memphis. Okay, so you live, in, you live in Nashville. I live in Atlanta. I cook. We, we, while you were down here, you know, we went out. Out of the seven days that you were here, we went out three days, and then I cooked one mm -hmm. or whatever. Then you go back up to Nashville, and you say, well, I'm not going to be able to be in Atlanta for another two and three months for some family things. Mm -hmm. Is that a woman that really has some family things going on, or is that a woman that's got a nigga in Nashville? <laughs> has she FaceTimed you from, from her family home? No. You haven't FaceTimed me. Have you seen her go live with her family? So what? Have you seen her go live with her family? If it's no. a funeral, a lot of people go live. About, you know, condolence. No, no, no one's gone live. Have you called her and she answered the phone every time you Actually, she answers. We're real slow now. She ain't studying you. She's going to get a back beat in. Hey! Tell G, $5. I just said the same ish. Whoever in the comments she execute, I expect some goofy ish from that mouth though. Laugh him ass up. Trucker stand up. <laughs> Trackers, shots out of the trucker. Oh yeah, they choosing on you. Your face card is not declining. I will give you that. You got one of them, you got them nut in me eyes. Look at the camera right quick. <laughs> hey, that's to get a pregnant eyes, gentlemen. Y'all ain't pulling out. Y'all ain't putting out. But well, they ain't gonna get it. They ain't pulling out. They're just like, well, I'm about to go to <laughs> well for the team, bro. I'm gonna get me a new baby mama, Mike. What makes women, he's <laughs> K-Pound says, I need her Instagram. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> they are funny. Oh, man. Their face card is a big joke. Oh, yeah, she say that. I need a lot of face card. Uh, what makes a woman clingy? Hmm. For me, it did good. First, clean. <laughs> Second off, if, if you a clean man, mm. baby, I'm clingy to you because I love me a clean man. Mm. If I know that I, I can't drop some of you, like, baby, you dropped this, let me keep clean up behind you just a little bit and I can do the sign. Oh, I love you. Okay. Yeah, that's my clean A clean man and good dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 love you. Learn something new every day, gentlemen. Keep your house clean, bros. Get your house is clean, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pride myself on keeping a pretty damn clean crib. That's one thing about me. I ain't never really yeah, you been the type of dude that's gonna be in filth or whatever. Now, what's crazy, I'll be honest, though. I ain't washed a dish in seven years. I ain't did laundry in five. Is your house have, dirty? No, no, I have exactly. people to clean my house. Exactly. 
What's your? <laughs> would you go to somebody else's house, eat some food, and, and just sit the plate on the counter, or would you put it in the sink? I would put it in the sink. Okay, then, so you're a clean man. I didn't even think. I thought it was just the right thing to do. Well, there's some people out there that just don't got no sense. Well, it matters if 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 they're a guest too. I mean, if they're a guest, are they supposed? Well, they would. I would ask what you want me to do with it. Yes, but still, if you know you went in the kitchen and made your plate, because I say me casa su casa, you are supposed to take it back and put it in where the sink. True. I ain't gonna argue with you on that one. I ain't gonna argue with you on that one. So cl a clean man and some good wood, and you there. Fellas, keep your house clean. That's the key to getting her. Well, shoot, at first I gotta get you to like me enough to go to my house. I'ma know if you clean. I'ma look at your nails and your hair. Ooh. Ooh. I'ma you clean your nose. Ooh. If you can't clean your nose, we gotta go out. Speaking of which, this is my hairdresser right now. She about to come get me right. All right, man, I really appreciate you for coming by. Taking some time for us, you know, uh, 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 small people over here at Ugly Money TV. Yeah, 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 ugly money. We, 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 we ain't get too triggered with you. You actually made some sense today. I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, proud of the question. Yeah, I was, I, was, <laughs> I was cool to see you was talking about the Diddy parties. Other than that, we were good. Yeah, 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 ugly money. I'm going to Would you ever me. go to the Diddy party? <laughs> oh, no. You're not going to have me in there, lock me down, and, and, and do the things you did to cast, you know? Wasn't that what you was doing at your party? No, we weren't doing that. Mm-mm. Free will. It's free will at all things. Whatever you want to do is your business, but we, mm, mm So you was having a free will Diddy party? It's called an orgy. It's a difference. <laughs> Diddy was racist. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. On that note, yeah. we got a galaxy! <laughs> Shout out to Star. Love, baby. I appreciate you. More than you know, man. Hey, man, before we get out of here, get these folks your Instagram, your Twitter, whatever they can follow you at so they know. Instagram, Shekana underscore diamond underscore 22. There it is. I think they like you because you natural. That's a hairpiece, y'all. She ain't got no locks for real. Uh-huh. That's what he was trying to get you to do. That's a hairpiece, y'all. That ain't you, man. That ain't you. That ain't you. She got little guns, too. I'm talking about look about she be like, look about she be hitting them, Jill. Look at her. She got them guns, though. Hey, now I'm scared of you. She over there taking a long time to take it off like she just got so much going on out there. Okay, okay. You got one of them sexy tree hugger hell dudes. Them sexy tree huggers, them girls that be natural and stuff, wearing the moo moos and stuff. I love me a sexy tree hugger. Oh, yeah, I wear those, too. Oh, oh, yeah, you wear those? Oh, you one of them sexy tree huggers. <laughs> you was poly, see? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's always, the poly girls is always, they always got natural health. They be them sexy tree huggers. They be freaky as fuck. <laughs> they all in touch with they, they energies and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a pansexual. Bitch, you a freak. <laughs> pansexual is another word for a freak. <laughs> Oh, you a freak. You a freak anything. Dog, oh, cat, oh, oh. crayon, dumpster, tire, man, bisexual. woman. Boy, I like girl. man and woman. You That's like it. Pansexual. She panning everything man, out. Man, woman. That's it. My brother K-Pow said, tell her to follow me. I, <laughs> I can't find her. Yeah. Can't find me. All right, man. Remember, the bigger the dream, the bigger the risk, the bigger the payoff. My name is Ugly Money Nietzsche. Everybody take your chance right now and text pound sign free to 1-844-253-4707. That is the number to perform this Saturday and Sunday at the Ugly Money Music Summit for free at the record pool from 2 to 5 p.m. First come, first serve. That is pound sign free to 1-844-253-4707. If you text that number, they'll send you a link to get your flyer and your registration immediately. So go ahead and take advantage. We'll see y'all this Saturday and this Sunday at the Ugly Money Music Summer, which is my birthday. So if anybody wants to come turn up for my birthday with me, meet me at the atrium in Atlanta from 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. Anytime you pull up, just come holler at it, brother. Uh, what I want for my birthday? Um... Some vapes. Anything to do with vapes. Some vape stuff. I wear a size 13 in shoes. And I wear a 4X. Anything with vapes that's 4X, 
Yeah. It's a 13 shoe and food. And liquor. I don't even drink. I get a drink to you, though. All right, man. Ugly Money, N-I-C-H-E is the Instagram on all platforms. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. YouTube, thank y'all for all the super chats. All my people on, on TikTok, all my people on TikTok that sent me uh, gifts, I will be following each and every last one of you back. All my top gifters, thank y'all on TikTok. Shauna Star, I appreciate you too, Queen. Crayon, what's up? Yeah, now they be screwing crayons. Kusan was handed. And everybody that sent the super chats, thank y'all, bro. She, she Tracy Trusty, she she gave y'all the she gave y'all the Twitter dog. They want the Twitter again. Okay, Shekana, S H E K I N A H underscore Diamond underscore twenty two. I hope it's something really on there because they're gonna be disappointed if it's some. Um, it's a little bit of something everything on there. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You got one. Oh, okay. I didn't know you went Twitter crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just know you I on Instagram. Insta I be on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, uh, see, and, and I just TikTok, you know. I just know your Instagram persona. Kind of you know, people on Twitter, they, they are totally different people when you get over I get to banned a lot on all my stuff. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, you're doing a whole lot. <laughs> all right, y'all, y'all be safe, y'all be blessed. Appreciate you, Shikana, no for uh, bringing, bringing